Hey fragrance friends and enthusiasts, welcome back. It's Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Shell chatting about some more beautiful fragrances for you guys. I hope that you're doing absolutely fantastic out there. And uh, today I actually have a Profumum Roma. Yes, one of my favorite fragrance brands in the whole world. Profumum Roma in the worlds of Centrifugal Force. He does a great job. I love Centrifugal Force. And uh, this fragrance here amazing fragrance but it's a little bit different from what you would expect y'all saw the title this one is called thundra or tundra i think i think it's supposed to say thundra um it's italian if you're italian let me know how you're supposed to say it but but and again fantastic fragrance let's jump into it and not waste any time this is a patchouli fragrance through and through and but it's i'm not going to get into all the notes i think this fragrance you wouldn't really do the, this fragrance justice if you just talked about the notes you got to talk about how this fragrance feels and how it transitions with the main accords and i think that's going to help you understand this fragrance even better so let's do that first off when you spray this fragrance, you're welcomed to a beautiful patchouli. A little bit of a light patchouli, but a beautiful patchouli nonetheless. And I do detect a little bit of animalics behind the patchouli, but it's not scary, quite wearable, and quite a beautiful patchouli. Um, as the fragrance transitions down with the fragrance, at, at times I detect a lot of different transitions. I get a little bit of incense, um, you know, and sometimes I get a little bit of smoke uh, in there, some accords, and also... This fragrance has a really fascinating aquatic feel, a little bit of a sour aquatic feel to the fragrance. I was quite surprised, and I think you're surprised if you're watching this video, that Tundra here has this sour, um, almost oak mossy, watery, uh, you know, kind of quality about it. It's, it's, it's quite fascinating with this beautiful patchouli, and the patchouli truly does act as more of a top note with this. It's a very light, um, airy patchouli very of uh, great fragrance that has a lighter more transparent feel of a patchouli i actually haven't f felt or smelled a lot of patchouli fragrances like that there aren't a lot out there in this style that do this kind of work and do this kind of thing there just aren't a lot of patchouli fragrances that feel light and wearable for everyday situations and even professional and i do really want to highlight about this fragrance perfumum roma's thundra is a great patchouli for everyday wear even in the professional environment if you really do, do love patchouli this one is really easy to get away with and more in the hotter weather in the summer months or maybe in a, in a, in a work environment or maybe somewhere where you want to come across a little bit more safe, unobtrusive, not too strong of a fragrance or not too heavy or intrusive of a fragrance, maybe in a professional environment. So it does a great job of that. If you're really a patchouli head, if you're a patch patchouli head, you've got to try this fragrance uh, because it really will help you maybe in the hotter months, you know, getting around, you know, that because a lot of patchoulis are, these days at least are leaning more on the gourmand side and the resinous side. And a lot of them are mixing in heavy doses of amber. And those are beautiful. I love those patchouli fragrances. But those patchouli fragrances sometimes are a little bit too much. Once it hits 85, 90, 100 degrees Fahrenheit or plus, you know, those are going to become chaotic and terribly sweet and extremely loud off the skin. That might not be what you want. This one does things really, really well. Now, also to my skin, I don't know if it's listed as a note, but I do get a little bit of a feel of almost Haitian vetiver, uh, a little bit on the edges of this fragrance. And I think that really might get people interested in this fragrance. It might get more people involved. It does a lot of great things. Again, a lot of big accords. You can't really notice a lot of the notes. And that's one reason I'm not talking about the notes so much here with this fragrance. And I try to get away from listing the notes and talking about how the fragrance feels. So this fragrance is called uh, Thundra. Again, it remind, does remind me of Thunder a little bit. It has this fresh, opening, light, like luminous quality about it, but with patchouli. And I find that fascinating, again, that it's a light, fresh patchouli, and it's airy. And it's not, ex I wouldn't say it's exactly clean, especially with, though the animalics aren't scary here. They're kind of more clean animalics. I, it's just fascinating with this fragrance. It truly is that uh, some some perfume master, some 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 perfumer did his magic on this fragrance and was able to make a fragrance like this quite fascinating i dare say so overall fantastic fragrance um i do i do want to uh say that uh, this is a fragrance that might come off a little bit more mature to some people if you're a younger more playful person 
into the designer fragrances. Again, I do re design, I do review designer fragrances, but this one is great, and I do want to highlight it. Uh, and again, might be a little bit more mature, if especially if you're uh, maybe we're thinking that this is because it's lighter and it's fresher. Maybe this is a patchouli that you want to get into as your first patchouli. Um, I probably for the younger people probably are, uh, would recommend Bentley Man Intense for your first patchouli. It's 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 a great value for the money, but uh, this one certainly is nice. And pretty versatile uh, performance wise this one won't disappoint you it is a little bit lighter and again not exactly transparent but it's lighter and it, it's and it's not a second skin it's not a weak performing fragrance but it does settle on the skin quite nicely so it's average projecting maybe slightly below average sillage is respectable here and this fragrance will give you at least on my skin it gave me anywhere from about about eight hours or so not the strongest fragrance, but I really like where they were going with this fragrance. And there is an almost musky, light, woody aspect to this fragrance that really is distinguished. And really, people can pick up on it a lot more than you would think. Getting into that compliment factor, um, this fragrance is makes you smell classy and refined, but yet not overtly professional or it doesn't feel like you're trying to put on a show too much uh where you're trying to smell posh or get respect or come off as regal or uh like a you know or a queen or a king or anything like that but it does have sophistication about it and i think again i think that that's one reason this fragrance does such a great job one of the best again fresher lighter uh more wearable patchoulis for the money that uh, you know is out there, and again, it's it's kind of fascinating that it has kind of an aquatic feel. Uh, it so, it feels kind of like that in the background of the fragrance. It's not an aquatic. It's not it's not a, a you know a cologne fragrance or seaweed fragrance or anything like that. But it does somehow feel aquatic, and I think that also makes it a little bit more likable uh, as far as patchoulis go. Patchoulis are not unlikable fragrances. Patchoulis are often really liked and really great. But it really does make the fra it, it kind of deceives you. It smells a certain way with the patchouli and these other accords going on, but it feels more like an aquatic, which is quite fascinating to me. And um, again, makes it a little bit more approachable as a patchouli. Uh, so they did a great job here with that as well. Overall, I do think that people need to check this one out with my final thoughts and the price. It is worth checking out. It's not a terrible, terribly expensive fragrance uh, for a niche. Uh, Perfumum Roma gives you great quality. They give you big bottles, the 100 mils. They're, they aren't overpriced in my opinion. The sprayers are fantastic. It's a windy day. Hopefully this comes up on camera, but hopefully that, you know, the wind was blowing that way. But hopefully y'all saw how strong these sprayers is. They're big sprayers and they put out a lot of juice. So fantastic fragrance. And uh, I would encourage y'all to try out more Profumum Roma. Straight out of Italy, I believe. And they do a great job. I really respect the house of Profumum Roma. So guys, in the comment section below, let me know. Did I do this fragrance justice? Did you want more details? I, again, I tried to get away from the accords. Let me know if you want me to talk more about the, you know, I got away from the notes I meant and I focused on the accords. Let me know. Is, did that help you out? Was that a good idea or did I really mess it up? So let me know in the comment section if you like this video or not. And while you're at it, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video and tell a friend. If you watch to the end of the video here, you're a real one. I do appreciate you, your support and your love and watching this video. I hope that I was helpful. I hope that I benefited you in researching this fragrance and understanding this fragrance and possibly even buying this one. So let me know your experiences and if you like this fragrance, if you like the House of Perfume Aroma. And um, I'll see you next time, everybody. Wear what you love, rock what you got. Stay safe, stay beautiful out there, and I'll catch you in the next video. Wear what you love. Peace out and bye.